Game's finished here at Priory Lane, home of Eastbourne Borough. Two all, Harvey. Both goals today, both in the penalty spot. Talk us through that one, buddy. Yeah, happy to uh, happy to obviously get both goals and uh, happy to get the point for the team, I suppose. We're unlucky to get three, but we take the one um, and we just move on to next week. Bit of a different slot for you, Harvey. Um, not seen you at right back before, but I mean, if we're going to put you there and you're going to bag a brace every week, mate, yeah. it sort of looked like that place might be yours. Yeah, I suppose. Why not? Um, I've never played there before, but Cookie called me up and uh, he asked me to do a job there. And um, I thought I'd done all right today. Um, just wanted to help the team out wherever I was playing, um, work hard and get the point. So, yeah, it was good. Good stuff. And obviously we've seen today uh, just kind of a little bit of the character and the little, uh, little bit of battle that are in there. I mean, we went down to 10 men quite early. The first goal came really against the run of play. We started rather brightly and then suddenly we find ourselves 1-0 down, down to 10 men. We've come back in and I don't think there's many people in the ground that could argue that we've gone on to dominate the game today. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, we should have come away with the three points, but at the end of the day, like you say, we went down to 10 men early on. And uh, I think after that we showed fight, we showed determination and really we've done well. So... Um, yeah, I have to praise the boys, to be fair. It's, good to say, it's a huge nod to you guys and what you're achieving here as a football club at the moment, coming away to a notoriously tricky ground to come and get points on. They set up really well here, quite fast on the movement as well when they get that ball going on the 4G surface. But again, we look like we handled that really well today. Yeah, no, definitely. They had probably more possession, but we didn't mind that. It was in their half. They got frustrated and um, we had a game plan to do that really all along. So sit in, sort of let them have the ball and we're a good counter inside team. So um, yeah, it was good. It worked to our advantage. Well, two all here, Harvey. As you said, probably a little bit hard done by not to get all three points, but go and enjoy your well-earned rest, mate. Two goals under your belt today. Chippenham's Harvey Bunker. Yeah, we'll do. Cheers, Top thank man. you. So we're joined here at Priory Lane with Chippenham man of the match today, Will Henry. Will, it's a bit a bit controversial giving the man of the match to a goalkeeper in a two-all draw, but what a performance from yourself today. It could have quite easily been six or seven without you between the sticks. Yeah, no, it was obviously a tough game. Um, once we had the sending off early doors, it's kind of more them getting at us. But saying that, we still had chances. Um, obviously went 2-1 up and we probably had enough chances to put the game to bed. But ultimately I've had to do my job at the end of the day and that's what I'm here to do. Yeah, I love it. Well, we've caught up a few times now, obviously, and talk about this mantra of just doing your job. I mean, I think it's a little bit, yeah, a little bit modest on your part, really. I know you're not going to come here and give it massive stacks on the uh, on the camera, but in reality, um, straight after the sending off, your first real crucial moment of the game was the free kick save. Um, it looked, for all intents and purposes, as if it was flying into the top corner. There was no one, no one was expecting you to get anything on it. Out of nowhere, this hand sort of comes across, and suddenly the game's a little bit different. We seem to sort of be galvanised after that. Yeah, I think. Um the free kick to be fair is quite close in it. it's right on the edge of the box I think sometimes that can favour the keeper because he's obviously got to get it up and over the wall so I don't think he can really use pace and pace and power there um, the wall was set up well and I just saw his body shape before he was going to try and go over the wall and took that early step and then managed to get onto it so it's big moments for you again today Will I mean first and foremost during the actual game where we were getting ourselves back in you know distribution was key um, in playing out with a few less player you know one less body on the pitch and certainly having to change the formation a little bit and the accuracy on those uh, on those kicks had to be a little bit more to hit Joe to hit Marlon to hit Kieran but again you know it seemed to be the first goal um, was come off a kick from yourself at the edge of the 18 yard box it's Marlon's got on the flick and Manny's sort of gambled that really and been clattered for the penalty um, we've had a chat about the penalties obviously both were absolutely stonewall nobody got a closer view than you to the Eastbourne penalty we seem to think that in our own opinions it was a bit of a leveller from the referee for the two that we were given and it almost felt like it was a sort of safe option really to give the penalty and allow everyone to go home with their chances what did you what did you make of the penalty did you get a good look so well I was following the ball to be honest with you so I didn't see Spence pulling down or anything but like like you said normally in games like that when the ref's given a pen one way more times than not they're going to look to give one near the other way again so it's a, it is a tough one to take conceding last minute but I think if you looked at it when we were 10 men 10, when we were down with one man sorry um, we would have taken a point to us but again it is frustrating that we had so many chances to to score that we didn't get the three but it's high emotions really for the end of that game yeah, and I think it was here, you know, in terms of why, for the guys watching at home that haven't made the trip today, why the goalkeeper in a two-all draw has picked up the man of the match in that brief spell where we'd gone 2-1 up. It was all Eastbourne at that point where they were moving that ball really well, right to left. The amount of times that they were putting that through ball down the left-hand side, and it's to no fault of the fullbacks. They just couldn't do anything. We were getting two-on-ones happening left, right and centre. And I think I counted certainly four or five big stops from yourself there, one-on-one, -on -one, particularly with their striker that in the end was the difference maker. But he needed uh, he needed 12 yards and a bit of space to do you, didn't he? Yeah, so again, I think 
what kind of favoured me was the angle. Obviously, we've stayed nice and narrow. I think as soon as we went down to ten, we stayed nice and narrow, and it forced them wide. And for a keeper, it makes it easier just to make make those saves on the angle because they've got less of a goal to look at. But again, I've, I've still got to make the save, and I've done my job at the end of the day. Big schedule coming up for us now, Will. Um, you know, October's looking like it's going to be a very busy end to the month and the start of November doesn't get much easier. We've just found out from results around the FA Cup today where unfortunately we weren't playing and even more unfortunately neither are Bath anymore. Um, oops. Um, that uh, We've now got a Tuesday night game away at Dartford um, after their exit to AFC Sudbury. Um, so, you know, game's coming thick and fast now. People are now going to start focusing back on that league again. Um, as the goalkeeper, the number one, no real sort of back up really in apart from you know coming out of the academy it's got to be critical for yourself to be keeping fit keeping well how are you doing on that front are you feeling still fresh ready to go every week and there's no no injuries no problems no no injuries no problems um i like to keep a good standard in terms of keeping myself right with my nutrition and recovery stuff from after games um obviously i set myself a target playing every game this season so i want to make sure i live up to that target super well we'll, we'll let you get back on with your uh, i imagine protein shake and a nutritious salad is it post matches at these days but yeah. um chipland town man on the match today will henry two all draw at eastbourne fantastic from you mate well done Cheers, thank you. super